If you're tired of hitting it thin and fat on the golf course, you're going to love this video because we're going to give you a simple solution to finally improve your ball striking and learn how to transfer your weight with ease. Hey, my name is Michael Leonard. I'm a plus two handicap and been a golf writer since 2017. After playing for over two decades and writing millions of words of content with a huge emphasis on training aids, I can say that most of them are trash. I don't want you to waste your money on something that's not going to help your golf game. Luckily, there's a great new training aid in the pressure plate from Y-Golf. Keep watching to learn how this will easily fix your weight transfer issues plus how it can secretly help your chipping too so I never want to recommend a training aid that I myself haven't used or continue to use but even as a plus two handicap I knew I had a major swing issue and that was hitting it thin this happened for two reasons one I was taking it too far inside and then it would made it really hard to transfer my weight but even when I did have a good takeaway I still wasn't transferring my weight properly so instead of hiring another golf coach I figured hey let's try out a new training aid and this thing has not disappointed here's why I like the pressure plate from Y golf so much. First off, it's easy. Everything's right in front of you. A lot of training aids out there have to connect to an app now. You might have some rubber bands. You might have some different things you have to do. And I've found that the harder a device is to use, the less likely you are to use it. This is the first reason I think this is an absolute game changer. It's simple. It's easy to use, which means you're actually going to use it. Number two is because it addresses a huge issue in the golf swing. And again, that is weight transfer. If you don't transfer your weight properly in the swing, you are setting yourself up for failure. And if you're hitting a lot of thin shots or even a lot of top shots, whether you're hitting a hybrid off the deck or maybe a three wood and you're constantly topping the ball, the biggest reason most likely is because your weight is on your back foot. This is why I like to think of this thing like an adult teeter-totter for golf. As you can tell, it goes back and forth. And that is the movement our golf swing needs to make. If you're a right-handed golfer, you understand that you go back on your right, and then on the downswing, you go down your left. But the problem is most of us don't know when to actually make that weight transfer and how much of it. The biggest thing this fixes is finally giving you real feedback on when you should transfer your weight back and when you should transfer your weight on the way through. As I said on their website, shifting your weight in a swing is important, but it's hard to know when and by how much. The pressure plate solves that by tipping only when you shift your weight correctly. You know in real time, every time. So here's how it works. As you can see, there's a target. You wanna make sure the arrow is facing towards your target. You might be thinking, duh. Well, I made that mistake a few times. But the reason this is, is because it actually will change the way the weight distribution works. On the way back, you have to get at least 60% of your weight on your back foot for this thing to go down. For the downswing, you need to get 70% of your weight on this side so that way you can transfer your weight through your left leg. But that's the problem is that most of us don't really know when to transfer our weight. Is it instantly? Is it at the top of my swing? You know, a lot of us are just having questions. As an experienced golfer, I wasn't really sure when my weight should be 100% set or when I should start moving it through, but this thing gives you instant feedback and literally guides you along the way. To start using it, it's simple. Make sure you're balanced. And what's great about this device are these little spikes. So one of their competitors, the Sheftic Pressure Board, actually, I tried that first, and I was extremely disappointed because I almost got injured the first swing I used it. The Sheftic Pressure Board does not have these, and since it didn't have the spikes, it didn't have any traction in the grass. And so instantly, on my first swing, this thing shifted. And it shifted in a way that non contact injuries happen in football and basketball. I was genuinely scared that something was wrong. Luckily, nothing happened. I returned it that day. I just could not get rid of that thing fast enough. No matter how much I wanted to learn how to transfer my weight, it wasn't worth an injury. So you're much more stable and you're going to have that balance. So start by getting on it and you have 50% of your weight on your front and 50 on your left. So you shouldn't be back or front. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is on your backswing, it's gonna go down, and then to start your downswing, you're gonna to wanna to push through. Not only is this gonna help you transfer your weight better, you're actually gonna learn how the ground force creates power. One of the biggest mistakes I see from most golfers on the driving range is using their upper body only. Kinda of like guys who skip leg day at the gym, they're missing out on so much power. So much of your power in the golf swing is created from your legs and specifically from the ground. If you watch Rory and a lot of these elite ball strikers, you will see they actually push up and off the ground. But a lot of amateur golfers are the exact opposite. They barely use their lower body from a lack of flexibility, not knowing how to transfer their weight, and it's a lot of over the top, it's a lot of weak shots because they're not engaging the biggest muscles in their body. That's why it's so great is that it literally teaches you how to use your lower body and ground force. This is gonna result in longer drives, better action, accuracy and finally getting your weight on your front foot so you're not going to be thinning it. Remember, if you're hitting it thin, it's because you're hitting up on it. And the reason you're hitting up on it is likely if you were on the board, it's because it's like this. You're literally going up, you're changing your swing plane, and you're hitting the top half of the ball. So anytime you hit a top shot, this is why. Your weight is back here. That's why you're hitting the top half hence the name top. I want you to finally master this because it literally will have a massive impact on accuracy and distance. How I like to use it is go to the driving range, hit five to 10 shots, start with some wedges and, and short irons and then get off it. Then hit some normal shots without it and you will instantly start to see 
how you're moving your weight and how you're shifting it. And it's probably going to lead to a very quick improvement on your ball striking. So again, you don't want to be overly dependent on this or any training aid. One of the things I talk about inside Wicked Smart Golf is to minimize our technical work on the range. Too many golfers are out there constantly working, constantly tinkering in their swing, and then they get dependent on this kind of device or any other training aid. But again, you're not going to be able to use these when you're playing golf, so you don't want to practice like that too much. But if you know in the off season you need to make some changes or you have a little bit of downtime between events or you're just finally getting started in the game and people have told you you need to work on this issue, this is it. And a great secret that I didn't even realize about this thing is how good it works for chipping too. If you're, if you're the type of golfer who hits a lot of thin shots around the greens, again, it's probably because your weight is on your back foot. If your weight is on your back foot, just like a full shot, you're gonna be hitting up and you're gonna be sculling it and thinning it over the green. That is super frustrating, especially if you're off the green, you scull it over and now you're in a bunker, you ended up making double or worse and you're pissed off. We've all been there, but it's easy to fix if you just get your weight on your front foot. So what you're gonna wanna do with chip shots, in anything inside about 50 yards, you want the majority of your weight on your lead leg. This will help create that descending blow to hit the ball, then the turf. So with chipping and pitching and really anything inside about 50 yards, make sure and just start with all your weight on the left side. This will literally make sure you have to hit down and through the shot. The only way you're gonna be able to hit this thin from here is if you shift your weight back and then it goes like that. You're gonna hit a terrible shot and you're gonna be like, oh wow, I need to keep my weight forward. Keeping your weight forward on basic chips and pitches will change your game. As a golf writer, I just wanted to share what's worked with me and what I see the biggest issue is when I go to the range. So many golfers are hitting thin, so many are hitting top shots, and so many are leaving their weight on their back foot because they're not transferring their weight. And I don't want that for you. I want you to start hitting it better. Stop hitting it thin and stop hitting it fat so you can play better golf every single time you tee it up. Plus, this thing works great for chipping, so don't neglect it for that as well. To learn more about this device, make sure to click the link down in the description so that way you can start transferring your weight like a pro. As great as this training aid is, just remember to not rely on this or any device too frequently. You need to make sure to practice like you play so you can take your range game to the golf course. I think this pressure plate is great because there's no app involved, it's easy to use, there's no hooking anything up, you are literally put it down and you're ready to go. If you don't want to hit range balls with it, you can train your swing at home, or if you want to hit into a net or take it out to the driving range, this thing is it. Plus it's super durable, it has the spikes so that way you can get stability and start hitting your iron and wedges like you always wanted. Want even more tips to play better every single time you teach? it up make sure to give this video a like hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of these epic videos thanks again for watching and as always i hope you have an epic day on the links